If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, for the fourth and final video, hopefully of the day, don't want to overload you guys day one. Have plenty of other videos to do. Saving those for the next few days. Going to go over the best packs to open as well as the best solo challenge to do. Could have, could have separated them. Going to combine them into a video kind of like, I know you guys, if your money's spent, you're wondering what packs should I open? There's plenty. Should I waste money on these? I'll let you know my experience with them. And as far as solo, I'll let you know the ones I'll be doing day one. While, you know, don't do all of them. Do the ones that are the best for your trial time. Now guys, in my personal opinion, here's the thing. If you guys want to know how good packs are for me, go check out my first video of Madden 21, my pack opening. People are saying it's the best pack opening on YouTube right now that's posted. It was super fire, guys. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You may see some in this video as I slide through screens here. Oh, maybe not, actually. I think I could, I could avoid that. Fire pack opening, guys. Have a whole team pretty much set already. Trust me. My overall may not look too hot, but it's good. So let's start with the best solo challenge to do, guys. Before we get into it and we go over all the solos, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Guys, let's keep growing. Let's get to 22K as quickly as possible and smash the like button. Every like does help if you're a loyal sub and you guys always watch, smash the like. Can we get 500 likes in this video? 500 likes on any video today and I will be, of course, drop another bundle for you guys tomorrow. So let's get into it. First thing you wanna do as far as objectives, solos, like I said, quickest thing, like first thing you wanna do as far as solos to get done, you want to get your team captain solos done and while also getting your team captain solos done you will also uh, simultaneously be getting your sam mills done uh opened up and just make sure you toss them in your team i did run over that all i want to do first i'm not going to go over that too much here but get get your sam mills on your lineup so you can get stats for them while you play so first solos you want to get done real quick just get them done before you go open packs and everything just to get your free players go to the rival solos get your team captain of course get your team captain get your rival players and then from there on out, get your NFL epics done. That's what I would recommend doing. EA Play is great rewards, but it's not your free players. They'll give you free players, but it's not the guaranteed 85 one. So I would get NFL epics done, rivals and team captain done. Once you're done with all of that, you, I would recommend you save your time. Don't play too much more. Don't go for maximum level. Don't do for much else. You want to save your 10 hours and let it, let it last throughout the week. I don't like killing it all on the first day. And then from there on out, guys, kind of assemble the team that you have. Assemble the team that you have, kind of understand what you're working with, and then from there, it's, it's okay to buy packs. If you're a pack buyer, that's where I'll get into next. But check your objectives as well. Make sure you're getting all these done, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you're getting your daily engagement done, which is complete one objective list today. Now, make sure you're getting your weekly mission done as well. Again, some of these things aren't possible right now, like weekend league, 20 games, like maybe through solos. Solos will work, not so much the head-to-head -head wins of the weekend league. Get as many of those you can done. It's some free, free, easy coins for you to earn. And then, of course, your mutt level will progressively upgrade as you go through these solos and stuff. Of course, don't focus on getting the max right now. Trust me. It will just stress you out more depend considering your time. Just get done what can get done on the side. And then your daily mission, of course. Guys, make sure you purchase a pack. So you won your two solos. Go to daily mission. Just Oh, you can open up a 500 coin silver pack. Just open it. I'm telling you guys, it gives you coins as well as it does go ahead and grant you guys one daily objective done. And as you get more, you get coins and you get power pass and so on and so forth. So make sure you're getting that done. Now, let's head over to the packs. I know you guys are probably wondering about this. Oh, and just make sure you're checking out the objectives for Mutt Master Progression. Make sure you're getting your Sam Mills on everything. And then, as far as packs go, if you guys are pack people, let's get into these packs real quick. Um, if I were you guys, I'd write down a list of all the free players you get. I will be dropping a video today going over all the free players you do get. So, go back, watch that. Write down what you think what you're getting, and then you want to open your pack. So, if you pull something you already have, sell it as you see the market fit to sell, and do other stuff along those lines. Now, guys, there are plenty of packs. First off... I highly recommend if you guys are money spenders, you open up the starter pack. Uh, people didn't think it was that great of a deal. I think it's a great deal. You get 22 gold or betters, which could be multiple elites. And you get um, two elites or better, which is going to be a higher overall elite. Now, the thing is with these is that they are not. But if you have EA access, this won't cost you about, this will probably cost you about $450 ish. Um, so $450, I mean $4.50 for two elites. And then 22, which could be like five elites, could be 10 elites, could be one elite, could be zero elites. Regardless, that will fill up your whole lineup, give you all the backups you need, give you all the uh, players to fill your lineup with, give you some elites. You guys, I, I last year out of a nat elite like this, I got the Andre Hopkins 88, which was from the solos. You can get Hopkins, you can get McCaffrey, you can get Donald. You can go ahead and power them up now. I'm telling you guys, super worthwhile. Uh, the odds obviously aren't shown here for overalls, but it could be super, super fun. I think it says a wide receiver and a cornerback. I'm not sure if that's going to be guaranteed, if it's any wide receiver cornerback, or if it's just if it's guaranteed to certain players. But it says gold or better, so I know that's definitely a chance. I like the pack in general. Next, you want to come over to player. So here are the bundles for you guys, for all you bundle spenders. So we have the ultimate gold team fantasy pack. Now, me personally, 
I wouldn't recommend opening the Gold Team Fantasy Packs. Honestly, get your free ones for, uh, for pre-ordering and everything, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, there are odds for each team, which is pretty cool. It says they're all the same. No, I guess it depends on how many elites you have on the team. Some are better and some are less. Chiefs have a 38%. Not sure if the Ravens might have the best because they do have the most. We will check that right now. Ravens do. Nope, 38% still. So, very similar in odds. Nothing too crazy here, guys. But I wouldn't recommend these packs. I never think they're that great. As a pre-order pack, they're awesome. Not, as a, not, not with your real hard-earned money. Now, here's the thing. A game Changer bundles and Elite bundles and Gridiron bundles are all similar in price. Now, 24 Gridiron bundles, the ones we went with last year. These give you 102 gold players and three elite or better players for about first for 100 bucks these are closer to about i believe you could okay for the same price you can get 10 elites and about three of these which is what i did almost four actually so pretty solid there as well now here's the thing with the elite bundles now i i had a i had a really good elite bundle recommend you check that video out the elite bundle is great but the thing with the elite bundle is you only get 20 gold players but you do get 11 elites so you have to give or take there so the thing is you get 11 elites out of here guaranteed here you get three elites guaranteed so you have to pull another eight is it likely probably but let's see the odds here so 85 pluses are only 4.6 percent 85 plus is 4.6 percent because it's not guaranteed of course which isn't really that great the elite pack course is pretty good so 4.6 percent of an 85 plus um here you have a let's see you have a 5.4 of an 86 plus which is better of course, it's not amazing, but now 84 plus is 18%. And then here you got, oh, okay, 82 plus is only 18%. So that's a big difference. That's two overall difference. Your, I think your best chance of pulling bangers like I did was probably out of the elite packs. Now, last year, the gridiron bundles were goaded. I really did like them, but I, I'm, an elite, I'm an elite bundle guy. I'm going to go with elite bundles first. Now, those golds are great. Don't get me wrong. For a coin value, if you're looking at coin for coin, you'll probably get the most back per pack. But the better chance of potential is the other one. Now, I'd recommend, guys, if you have enough money to spend, I would open one of both. My next bundle may not be the other one. Now, let's go through the Game Changer Packs. Now, guys, I have a bit of a salty taste when it comes to Game Changer Packs from Madden 20. I did not like them. They did not feel good to me. The odds here don't look horrible. They actually look just about the same as the other ones. But the issue is they're only five gold or better per... So you only get five cards per pack. So if you guys pretty much get that, like five cards per pack, you could either hit... You could hit all gold on a $10 pack. And I just... I, I don't like that. I rather know that if I open up 10 of these, I get 10, you know, 11 elites, and you get the you get the topper, which is huge. So here, guys, the topper here is only three elite packs. The topper here is an 85 plus, which is super important because that 85 plus can get you a banger. I'm telling you guys, 85 plus could be really good. That's why I recommend you know you really you really use that. Uh, you, I, I'm personally I'm going in my ranking elite bundle first, gridiron bundle next, and then game changer bundle. Game changers could be better this year, but based on what I know, these are usually the best. So if you're opening packs right now, day one, head onto the elite bundles, head onto the gridiron bundles. Now, if you're opening up coin packs, personal advice, I wouldn't recommend gold packs right now. Um, market's not too high yet, and you still have to grind out your coins. You want to be, I would say, most of your coins. If you're gonna spend, if you're gonna open packs, that'll be money right now. If you're gonna open packs, if you're a money guy, not saying you have to. I'm saying if you are, make sure you check out the uh, the feature starter pack. And then, of course, don't touch the Ultimate Gold Team Fantasy Packs, guys. That's pretty much it for the video. You guys more or less know the solos you want to do to get your free 85 players. I have some other videos coming out regarding that. Um, you want to know, you know the solos and you know the objectives you want to be focusing on. And pretty much that's it, guys. Focus everything on what those three things I just said. Your objectives, your solos, and check some packs out if you're a money spender. Follow that. Don't go too crazy into seasons. Don't go too crazy into anything just yet. You do not want to be wasting your time. You can be doing much better stuff with that. But, guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. You can join the family. Get to 22k as quickly as possible and smash the like button, guys. Helps out a lot. 500 likes any video today. We will be dropping another bundle tomorrow. So smash the like button, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.